Hi everyone, Dr. Melissa here and welcome back to our fourth day of our rewire challenge where we're gonna continue working on our core. Remember it's made up of your diaphragm, pelvic floor muscles, lower abdominals, and those deep back stabilizers. We wanna to continue to work on that breathing, that 360 degree breath and the posture and alignment we learned in the beginning. One thing to grab, if you happen to have it, a yoga block, if not, no worries. So let's get started, come down onto your backs. Just taking a couple of gentle breaths. Notice that 360 degree breath going out into the sides and the back of your rib cage. You're looking for that neutral pelvis, so we're rocking all the way forward, rock it all the way backwards, somewhere in the middle there. Nice, gentle breath in. Exhale through that straw, and we're gonna jump right into it. So if you happen to have your block, go ahead and grab that, and you're gonna reach those arms straight up towards the ceiling. If you don't have the block, just pretend there's one there. Nice, gentle breath in. On that exhale, squeeze the block and feel that lower abdominal. Inhale, soften. Exhale, gentle squeeze of the block. And maybe you're light on those heels. Exhale, good. Inhale, softening. Exhale, squeeze. Good. Inhale, softening. Exhale, you're gonna squeeze. Then maybe you wanna add on, we're gonna inhale, lift those arms up overhead. Exhale, you can bring it just towards the middle or maybe you bring those knees in towards your chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, you can bring one or both of those knees in. Checking to make sure that lower abdominal area isn't pushing out, that kind of doming coming up. You want to use that exhale to feel the lower abdominal pulling up and in with that pelvic floor. Our core likes to work as a system and everything wants to work together. Awesome work. Keep your neck nice and soft. If you notice that when you're doing abdominal exercises and it kind of sneaks up into your neck, try putting a pillow underneath your head or your shoulder. That just helps with that alignment. Awesome work. Keep going for five, four, Three, two, last one. Place that down on the ground. Nice gentle breath. Reach those arms, lift all the way up overhead. Exhale, let it go. Your arms can come back down by your side or maybe you take your hands behind the back of your head. Nice gentle breath in. We're gonna bring those knees back in towards your chest. Exhale, let it go. We're gonna take your right leg, extend your right leg out, reach through the heel, drive that right knee in towards your chest, and then gently switching. And then switch. And switch. It's almost like you're drawing big circles with those legs. They can be as small, or you can start to lengthen those legs out. The lower the legs go down towards the ground, the more you're gonna feel it on that lower abdominal. Keep using that breath. Lengthen through those legs. Keep the neck and shoulders nice and soft. You can continue like this, or maybe you wanna inhale, lift. Come all the way up. Still using your breath. Lengthening out. Awesome work, you got this. We've got five, four, three, two, last one. Lower everything all the way back down, lengthen out, nice gentle breath in. And then bring those hands back in, two options. Number one, you can bring your right knee in towards your chest and place your hands on that right thigh. On our exhale, we're gonna push our hand into that thigh. Option two would be to take that left leg up as well. Exhale, push, and maybe you extend the arm and leg out and back in. Extending out, exhale. Inhale, bring it back in. Picking which option feels best for you, that you really feel that lower abdominal area kicking on, and you're not gripping with the upper abdominals. Continue with that breath, not holding it, for five, four, three, 
two, last one. Place those feet back down and we're gonna switch. So maybe you just bring just that left leg in, hands come to that thigh, exhale, pushing in. If you wanna add on, bring the right knee in, right hand to the thigh, exhale, extend, opposite arm and leg, inhale, hug it back in. Exhale, push into that thigh, and then back. Still focusing on lower abdominals. Good, reaching fingertips to heel. Good, five, four, three, two, last one. Lower everything back down, take a nice big breath in, reach those arms all the way up overhead. And then exhale, get super heavy. And then we're gonna gently roll onto our right hand side. You're going to prop yourself up onto your right forearm. We're gonna have our hips and knees are gonna be stacked. You're pressing into that right forearm, working on lifting those hips up. Option one is to reach the arm up overhead and turn your gaze down and then bring that arm back down. Option two, press into that forearm, extend, lift out, and then drop it back down. Exhale, we're pressing and lifting that arm overhead. You can keep the hips down or lift them. If you're lifting them, you wanna make sure those hips are facing the side of your mat. Good. And if you're staying down, still work on trying to lift that waist away from the ground. If you're extending that top leg out, reach through that heel or your toe to really feel those glutes kicking on. Awesome work. We have three, two, Good, last one. Lower all the way back down and we are heading over towards our left hand side. Pop yourself up onto that left forearm. Stack those hips, press into your left forearm and you're working on lifting and then maybe just taking that arm overhead and back down by your side. Option two is to press those hips, lift up, extend out, and then bring it back down. Good. See if you notice a difference, left side to your right side. Does one side feel a little bit more coordinated than the other? Can you feel those muscles kick on a little bit more? Do you have to concentrate and really focus to get them to fire up on one side versus the other? Great work. Keep using your breath. Extending out through that heel, fingertips. Feel that right hip kicking on if you're extending it out. Great work for three, two, last one. Lower all the way back down. You're gonna prop yourself coming back up onto those hands and knees, coming into tabletop position. Press into your palms, press into the tops of those feet, lengthen through the crown of your head. You're gonna take that right leg, drive your right leg straight back. Fire up through that heel, holding here. Maybe you extend that left arm straight in front. Awesome work. We're holding, careful not to over arch through that back. Our hips are facing the ground. Three, two, press into the top of that left foot. Your left hand is gonna come down, drive your right foot forward between those hands, curl your toes underneath, press and lift all the way up. As you drive into that right foot, as you're pulling yourself, come up. Your back heel is going to spin down and we're gonna straighten out through that right thigh. Turn your left rib cage to face the side, pressing down into those feet. We're gonna take your right hand to the inside of that right thigh. Right hand comes to your hip. Maybe that left arm is up towards the sky and you're gonna exhale lower down for three, two, one. Inhale, lift, three, two, one. Exhale, slowly, three, two, 
one. Inhale, three, two, one. Continue using your breath as you're slowly lowering down and up. We're playing with our posture, maybe leaning forward or backwards a little more. Press into those feet to fire up those glutes. Good. One more time, lower it down and then back up. We're gonna bend through your front knee, take both your arms, lift up overhead, reverse that warrior, reach through those fingertips, spread your toes, and then inhale, pull yourself, come back up, spin up onto those left toes, and gently shift your weight forward onto your right foot. The right leg is doing all the work. You're pushing into that foot. Squeeze your right glute, spread the toes. Drop that rib cage down. Left leg can stay down or maybe it's lifted. We've got that slight lean forward coming from our ankles. And then we're gonna bring those arms straight out in front and you have a little micro bend in that right knee. We're going to exhale, make a fist with your right hand and bring that right arm by your side, rotating to turn to look to the right back in front make a fist with the left rotate to the left bring it back to front good and you're gently going to twist from side to side use your breath you'll feel that lower abdominal kicking on keep spreading your toes awesome work we're going to do one more time each side follow your breath hips keep facing forward Good. And then we're gonna slowly step back with that left leg. Hands come back down towards the ground, drop onto that left leg. Take your right leg back, reach through that heel, press into the top of your left foot, fire it up. Awesome work, we're holding. Five, four, three, two, last one. And now we're switching. Lower that right leg down, press into the palms, lengthen through that crown of your head, left leg goes back. Reach through the back left heel, press into those palms. Maybe your right arm comes in front, maybe it stays down by your side. Firing up your left glute. Reach so much through that back heel, it's as if you're pushing it up against the wall. Keep reaching through your fingertips, exhale, you're gonna feel that lower abdominal for five, four, three, two, Last one, right hand comes down towards the ground. Take your left foot, step your left foot forward. Curl those back toes underneath. Drive into your left foot as you pull yourself, come up, spin your back heel down. We're straightening out through that left leg. So front heel in line with middle arch or back heel. We're pulling that right rib cage back and slightly leaning forward. Squeeze those thighs, left hand down, right arm comes towards the sky and exhale, slowly lower. Three, two, one. Inhale, lift. Three, two, one. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, three, two, one. Feel those obliques kicking on. And what's the difference from side to side? What are you noticing? Can you sink a little further each time you're going down? Keep pressing into those feet. Last one, two, one. Lift, three, two, one. You're gonna bend through that front knee. Take those arms up and overhead, coming into that reverse warrior. Nice, gentle breath. We're still pulling that right rib cage back. Play around with the posture, find that sweet spot. Pull yourself, come all the way back up, spin up onto those back toes. Shift your weight forward over your left foot, toe tap down, or that right leg is staying lifted. Hips are facing forward, we're leaning forward, we're spreading our toes. Arms come straight out in front. Exhale, bend that right arm, twist to the right. Bring it back to center. Twist with that left side. Back to center. Bend that right arm. Notice the balance on your left side compared to your right side. Continue to keep using that breath. Awesome work. We're going to do one more time each side. Great job. 
and then take that right leg, step it back. Hands come down towards the ground. Take your left leg, drive your left leg behind you. Press into the palms. Maybe the right arm comes up towards this front of the room. Reach through the fingertips. Press into the top of that right foot. Five, four, three, two. Last one, lower that arm back down. And just come to a comfortable seated position. We're gonna take one last deep cleansing breath in. Lift those arms all the way up overhead. Exhale, bring those hands down towards heart center. Awesome job working on your core during today's practice. Continue to sprinkle that throughout your day, working on your breath and your posture and I will catch you in the next class. Namaste.